Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today. Um, in today's video, we're going to talk about things you need to consider before getting married. Now, if you are new to my channel, my name is Uwana Udo and every week I share content that can help you master your personal finance and grow your wealth. So right now, you know, we're going through very unprecedented times. Uh, we're just coming out from the health situation and a lot of families are going through some very um, serious uh, financial issues and I just wanted to share um, this video with people who are either married or contemplating getting married. Now this comes from a place of experience. Um, I was married for 23 years and unfortunately like most uh, marriages today um, I got divorced in 2019 after married after being married for 22 years. Now I know most people um, don't like to share their personal information but I feel I'm just trying to be candid with everyone and also to let people know there are certain things you need to consider okay to avoid being a statistics now based on information I, I just saw in the United States right now over 50 percent of marriages will end up in divorce and 90 percent of the divorces are filed by the by the women okay so 90% of uh, divorces are filed by women and over 50% of marriages end up in divorce. Now, those are staggering numbers. And at the end of the day, most times it comes to finances, okay? That's what creates most of the problems in marriages, okay? Because, you know, you, you don't have certain rules and certain things put in place before you get married. So one of the first things you want to do if you're not married yet, if you're still dating, these are some of the things that you need to consider before you get married, okay? Um, marriage is a business transaction. I don't care how you look at it, okay? Yes, we all get married for love. At the end of the day, it is a business transaction and there are rules and there are regulations. It's a contract between two individuals and you gotta make sure that you live up to the contract, otherwise things will happen. You're gonna end up being divorced, unfortunately. Or you might have issues with your marriage okay issues with infidelity or stuff like that okay so I'm not here trying to knock anyone down or to put people down or to you know tell you that marriage isn't great marriage has its place okay um, when you have a married couple they create stability for the family when you have kids involved so there are advantages to you know being married However, with the society we live today, things are changing drastically. You know, um, what we normally consider marriage has different meanings to different people, okay? So when I say marriage, I'm talking about everyone, okay? Depending on what your preferences are, I'm not here trying to judge anyone or to criticize people or to tell you, you know, what marriage is. But you all know what marriage means, okay? It is a contract between two individuals, okay? Now, one of the first things you want to consider, if you're, if you're young and you're just dating and you're seeing someone right now, or you're thinking of maybe in the future getting married, number one, you need to sit down with your potential partner and figure out certain things. So the first thing you want to figure out is how are you going to handle your finances? Are you going to have a joint account? Are you going to have separate accounts, but maybe have one family account where you can run all your household expenses through there? Because what happens is if you don't have that structure in place, when you get married, okay, you have two individuals coming together and the tendency is you don't want to give up your independence. So what happens is one couple has an account, the other one has an account and both are not communicating and they're just paying bills and just doing things you know randomly this creates problems okay you have to be transparent with your partner you want to make sure that okay are you gonna have two separate accounts and then you're gonna have one account that's gonna be for you know the family expenses to run through okay are you gonna deposit both checks into that family account or are you gonna deposit checks into individual accounts and then transfer some money into your joint account for family expenses so you want to make sure that you figure that out as well. Number two, you want to figure out how much debt are you both bringing into the marriage? Because once you get married, your, your partner's debt becomes your debt. 
okay because you're now joined together you're not married so you want to figure out how much debt are you bringing into the marriage and then we can come up with a game plan on how to tackle the debt because if you're not aware of what debt the other partner is bringing into the marriage what happens is you know it becomes a wake-up call for the other person who has no debt or maybe has little or insignificant debt and now they're stuck paying your debt so you need to hash those things out before you get married because this affects your finance it affects your finances and like i said most marriages today end up in divorce and one of the key elements of what, why divorce happens is because of personal finance okay you did not spend the time to hash out how you were going to handle your finance as a married couple all right then the next thing you want to worry about is if you plan to have kids okay depending on what denomination you know if you believe in if you're christian or a muslim or hindu or whatever your your faith is you want to make sure that your partner or your significant other okay is on board with you so now if you're if you're muslim and your significant other is a christian then you might have a conflict okay how are you going to raise your kids are you going to raise them you know going to the mosque or are you going to raise them going to church or are you catholic are you protestant are you anglican are you baptist whatever your faith is you want to make sure that you are both on the same page when it comes to how are we going to raise the kids are we going to raise them one way or the other way because this creates conflicts for the kids okay so that's one other thing that you want to you know consider before you get married okay um these are some life hacks and life tips okay that i have learned over the years okay because most of us make mistakes we don't hash out these things before we get married because we're all consumed by the emotions and you know feeling in you know in love and the next thing you know we're getting married we're moving in together we're buying a house together and then issues start to arise okay and then finally you want to make sure that you know how are we going to handle our in-laws how are we going to handle our family okay there are certain cultures where you know once you marry someone the whole family gets involved in your business okay now if you're the kind of person that you you don't you like your independence you don't like people being nosy about your affairs then this might create a conflict for you because if your spouse has a family where you know the mom the dad the cousins the in-laws everybody are all involved in your business okay anytime you guys have an issue she runs to her family or he runs to his family and you know because that's what he's used to or she's used to then this might create tension within your marriage okay so these are some great tips that you have to keep in mind or things you need to consider before you you jump into the marriage game because once you get married okay unfortunately you know the legal system in the united states you know um, makes it easy for people to get divorced okay because you know you just file paperwork and in some states it's a it's a no no fault situation where anybody can get divorced from the other person you don't really need um uh, concrete evidence of infidelity or whatever if you're just tired of the other person most people will just file for divorce because it's so easy in certain cultures it's not that easy to get divorced okay so i hope you found value in this video and as usual if you found this video you know um valuable make sure you smash that thumbs up button and also share this video with people out there that might benefit from it okay i really appreciate you being here taking the time to watch this video to the end and as usual Make sure you're true to yourself, you're true to your goals, and never, ever, ever give up. And make sure you consider these tips I gave you, either whether you're, you're married, congratulations, or you're contemplating getting married, more kudos to you. But make sure you take this thing seriously because it's going to affect the outcome of your marriage, okay? If you look at statistics, like I said, okay, 90% of marriages of divorces are initiated by women, okay? And over 50% of marriages in the united states right now end up in divorce and i don't know where you're watching this video uh, but i'm speaking just from the united states alone so over 50 percent of marriages so if you get married today um, there's a 50 percent chance that you might get divorced in the future it's unfortunate but that's the statistics okay so in order to prevent yourself or avoid getting um divorce or being one of the statistics make sure you hit some of these tips that i'm giving you because this is coming from a, a, a position of experience i've been through this i know what this means okay because divorce is not easy 
uh, divorce takes a toll on both sides of you know of the of the family because now you're taking care of two families okay because you have to take care of yourself as the as the man who, who got divorced and you also have to take care of your kids and your ex okay you might be liable for child support you might be liable for alimony depend on your state depend on the state law so it's a very costly proposition um, when you go through divorce okay um, you, in some cases you have lawyers involved you have court systems involved and if the other party isn't um, you know willing to negotiate or you know be flexible you might have issues just take a look at your celebrities okay there are certain celebrities right now that are having issues with their divorce and the divorce can you know go for years and that's a lot of money you're wasting on attorneys on court fees on all sorts of stuff so save yourself the hassle listen to what i just said okay make sure you know you take this seriously because marriage is a very serious game okay it's a very serious contract okay between two individuals and sometimes you know the people that suffer um, as a result of this are the children okay so if you love your children if you love you know your family make sure you stick to what i just said okay thank you so much for being here and as usual be true to yourself be true to your goals and never ever ever give up and i'll catch you on my next video coming up take care bye bye